We will begin our swim dive meet this evening with the diving portion. Our first diver this evening will be Sophie from Peters Township. I'm sorry, from Upper St. Clair doing dive 103B, forward one and a half somersault pike position, to the degree of difficulty, 1.7. Score seven and one half, seven, six and one half. Our second diver, Morgan from Peters Township, doing dive 103B, forward, one and a half somersault, pike position, 1.7. Scores six and one half, six, seven. Carly from Upper St. Clair, dive 101B, forward dive, pike position, 1.3. Scores four, five, five and one half. Amy from Peters Township, dive 103B, forward one and a half somersault, pike position, 1.7. Scores five and one half, six, six and one half. Brett from Upper St. Clair, dive 103B, forward one and a half somersault, pike position, 1.7. Score seven, seven and one half, seven and one half. Ryan from Peters Township, dive 103B, forward one and a half somersault, pike position 1.7. Score seven and one half, seven, seven. Chris from Upper St. Clair, dive 101B, front dive, pike position, 1.3. Scores six and one half, seven and one half, seven and one half. Our second round, Sophie from Upper St. Clair, dive 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position 2.2.
scores six, five and one half, five. <laughs> Morgan from Peters Township, dive 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position, 2.2. Scores four and one half, four and one half, four and one half. Carly from Upper St. Clair, dive 103B, forward one and a half somersault, pike position 1.7. Scores six, six, five and one half. <laughs> Amy from Peters Township, dive 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores two, two, three. Brett from Epper St. Clair, dive 201B, back dive, pike 1.6. Scores three, three and one half, five. <laughs> Ryan from Peters Township, 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position, 2.2. Scores two and one half, three and one half, three and one half. Chris from Upper St. Clair, dive 103B, front one and a half somersault, pike position 1.7. Scores five, five, four and one half. Our third round will be Sophie from Upper St. Clair doing dive five, one, two, two, D. Forward, one somersault, one twist, free, 1.9. Scores five and one half, six, five and one half. 
Morgan from Peters Township. Dive 5122D, forward one somersault, one twist, free, 1.9. Five and one half, five and one half, five. Carly from Upper St. Clair, dive 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores three and one half, four and one half, four. <laughs> Amy from Peters Township, dive 5122D, forward one somersault, one twist, free, 1.9. Scores five and one half, five and one half, five. Brett from Upper St. Clair, dive 301C, reverse dive, tuck, 1.6. Scores six and one half, seven, six and one half. Ryan from Peters Township, dive 5124D, forward one somersault, two twists, free, 2.3. Scores six, seven, six and one half. Chris from Upper St. Clair, dive 104C, front two somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores five, five, five. Sophie will start our fourth round with dive 202A, back one somersault straight, 1.7. Scores five and one half, six and one half, six and one half. Morgan from Peters Township, dive 303C, reverse one and a half somersault, tuck, 2.1.
Scores four, five, four, and one there. Carly's fourth dive, 202A, back one somersault straight, 1.7. Scores seven and one half, six and one half, seven. <laughs> Amy from Peters Township, dive 403C, inward one and a half somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores two and one half, three, two. Brett from Upper St. Clair, dive one oh, I'm sorry, dive five, one, two, two D, forward, one somersault, one twist, free, 1.9. Scores three, three and one half, four. Ryan from Peters Township, dive 302C, reverse, one somersault, tuck position, 1.6. Scores six, five and one half, five. Chris from Upper St. Clair, dive 302C, reverse one somersault tuck position, 1.6. Scores eight, six, seven. <laughs> Beginning our fifth round, Sophie from Upper St. Clair, dive five, two, two, one D, back one somersault, one half twist, one point seven. Score six, six and one half, six. Morgan from Peters Township, dive 403C, inward one and a half somersault, top position, 2.2. 
Scores six, six, five and one half. Carly from Upper St. Clair, dive 403C, inward, one and a half somersault, tuck position, 2.2. Scores three, four, two and one half. Amy from Peters Township, dive 202A, back single somersault straight, 1.7. Scores four, five and one half, six. Brett from Upper St. Clair, dive 104C, forward two somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores four and one half, five, five and one half. Ryan from Peters Township, dive 401B, inward dive, pike position 1.5. Scores four and one half, five and one half, five and one half. Chris from Upper St. Clair, dive 403C, inward one and a half somersault, tuck position 2.2. Scores six and one half, six, six and one half. This is our sixth and final round of diving. Sophie from Upper St. Clair's final dive will be dive 403C, inward one and a half somersault, tuck position 2.2.
scores five and one half. Five, five and one half. Morgan from Peters Township's final dive will be dive 203C, back one and a half somersault, tuck position 2.0. Scores three, four and one half, four and one half. Quiet for the divers, please. Carly from Upper St. Clair, dive five, two, two, one D, back one somersault, one half twist, free, 1.7. Scores six, five and one half, six. Amy from Peters Township's final dive. Five, two, two, one D, back one somersault, one half twist, free, 1.7. Scores three and one half, five, five. Brett from Upper St. Clair's final dive, four, zero, three, inward one and a half somersault, tuck position, 2.2. Scores six, six and one half, six. Ryan from Peters Township's final dive, five, two, two, three D, back one somersault, one and a half twists, free, 2.3. Chris from Upper St. Clair will be our final diver. 5211A, back dive, one half twist, straight, 1.8. Scores two, four and one half, five and one half. The diving portion is done and now we continue with swimming, beginning with event one. And event one 
is the girls 200 yard medley relay. In heat, in lane one, we have Upper St. Clair. Uh, we have Hannah Wilding, Lindsay Choate, Emily Yost, and Megan Matheny. That's actually a relay made up of all the junior girls on our, on our club. In lane four for Upper St. Clair, we have Maeve Lersch, Maddie Yost, Carly Olsakowski, and Abby Matheny. Swimming for Peters Township in lane two, we have Alex Dom, Tracy Chen, Jessica Vierheller, and Michaela Queso. And in lane five for Peters, we have Stephanie Wang, Lueva Paulu Benson, Julia Corton, and Hannah Gregarig. Mr. Starter. Two things. Always start with them. You have to remind me, I haven't done this in a year. Well, we're on, home, we're on our first home meet, and here we go with event number one. Okay, it should be an exciting meet. Um, it's, as I mentioned before, it's kind of fun in our lane one. Our relay is made up of all the juniors on our team. And the girls are getting in the water, ready to go. Welcome to those fans that are catching us on the local access channel. And if you've never seen a swim meet before, you're in for a treat. We have some great swimmers on both teams, but Upper St. Clair, we're excited. This is our first home meet of the year, and taking it out right now is Maeve Lursch, who's, uh, who's taken our, our backstroke leg out first, and pretty quickly, too. Yeah, Maeve is looking good, although it looks like Hannah Wilding over here in lane one is giving her a run. Maddie just went in. Lindsay. So far, one, two, upper St. Clair with the yep. breaststroke leg going in, that with the backstroke to the breaststroke. Okay. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out is just how well our team has been doing when we've been uh, away in the last couple of meets. This is uh, the medley relay, and right now we have uh, the fourth best time in the state in this uh, in this event, and we're not uh, we're not slowing down. Look at now we're. Uh, uh, Emily is, or excuse me, uh, Maddie gave way to Carly Olsakowski, who's come on with her butterfly this year. And in second place for, uh, is, is Emily. Is Emily. Or, uh, the junior Absolutely. team. The best time of the year for Upper St. Clair is a 137.18, and that's actually tied for the school record. All right, we'll see what they can do tonight. Uh, Abby Matheny just went off the block in lane four, and... Well, it's turning into a good race between Peters over in lane one, or Peters in lane five, and Upper St. Clair in lane one. I don't know if they're going to get that 137 that they, or excuse me, the, the, the one, uh, excuse me, their time is 148.09. And we're going to touch out Peters for first and second. That's a big start for our Upper St. Clair girls. Yeah, that was a nice swim. So what did they need? Well, I was looking actually at the 200 free relay when I when I mentioned that they tied a, a team record. <laughs> and it, sh it should have been mentioned in the, the medley relay, which, which was a 148.09. But being less than, uh, less than two seconds off of that, that's a good start. Event two of the evening is the boys' 200-yard medley relay. For Peters Township in lane two, Duncan McCall, Sean Zurich, Paul Luneski, Alex McKay in lane five for Peters, Harrison Nix, John Martin, Mitch Gullius, and Josh Dunleavy. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers in lane one, Marty Basic, Amathian Bohan, Connor Burns, and Ben Diffendahl. And in lane four, Ryan Dudzinski, Thomas Williams, Jake Johnson, and Kevin Liu, Mr. Referee. Now, the, uh, the one thing I know is these boys would love to take down a couple of records tonight, and this might be one of them. A full record is a 135.74. Let's see what they can do in this, in this first meet of the year. They certainly have the firepower in there to do it tonight. Well, we have uh, Ryan starting out in this event, uh, Thomas, Jake, and Kevin. These are... Four of our top swimmers. 
Ryan is the defending state champion, or the Whippeal champion in this event, came in second in the state. And he's, uh, he's going to put up a nice time at a 21-15 in the back. That's, a, yeah. that's, that's his best split ever. That was really fast. It looks like the Upper St. Clair, the second relay, went in second. Yeah, that was um, Marty with the nice split himself. Now we have the breaststrokers in for Upper St. Clair, of course, uh, Thomas Williams in, in, lane, f in, lane, uh, in lane four. And a Matheon, Matheon, who's new to the team this year. He's a sophomore, and he's uh, swimming very well. Thomas looks like he's having a nice split himself. 28-9. Now Jake Johnson, who is a pool record holder in Mount Lebanon in the fly. He's a state qualifier in the fly. And let's see what he can do in this event. For Upper St. Clair in the other lane in, uh, is Connor Burns. Yep, he's... A little bit of a slow exchange there, but Kevin Liu hits the water hard, and he has a very powerful stroke. Yeah, he's a racer. We're going to see if he can take this down. So you, you said it's a 131.02? 135.74. Oh, yep. Oh, Sorry, I was looking. I think they're going to get the pull record. Well, they did. Oh, absolutely. Nice swim. And a nice one-two by Upper St. Clair. Ladies and gentlemen, that swim by Upper St. Clair in lane four is a new pool record. Great way to start off the night and start off our first home meet. The next event is event three, the girls 200 yard freestyle. In lane two for Peters Township, Abby Strennan. And in lane five for Peters Township, Olivia Yaka. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Meg Haggerty. And in lane four, Victoria Schaefer, Mr. Referee. One thing we've not done is talk about Whippeal times so far. And uh, um, I, I did not catch the first, the girls split. I, the boys were, were an obvious uh, pull record. That's a Whippeal cut. And is the second relay a Whippeal? Seeker voice. It sure is. And that would have been too. Yep. Now the Whippeal cut in this event for the girls is a uh, 204.5. Why don't you announce that to the to the fans? Okay. The Whippeal cut in this event tonight is a 204.50. You know, one of the things we don't know is which of our girls are going to try what events at Whippeals. We have many girls who are going to be qualifiers in multiple events. Um, this is probably not going to be Victoria Schaefer's Whippeal event, one of them, um, although she's done this event a lot in her, in her career. I think she might be a 200 IM swimmer this year. Well, the nice thing about Victoria is that she is very versatile, and so she could, you could put her in almost anything, and she would do very well. We have Megan Lane 1, who is, uh, uh, last year she did the fly and the 500. Yes, she did. And one thing I know about her, she back halves her 500. I, and a 200 <laughs> is, a, 200 is a, a, a tough event to try to either, it's not a sprint, but it is a sprint. It's not a long distance event, but it is a long distance event. It's a, you have to pace it well. And if you take it out too hard in that 100, it's very difficult to bring it back. Look, Victoria's having a nice swim. Olivia Yaka is right behind her over in lane uh, five. <laughs> I can tell the difference between five and one. There's it's another 50 to go for what, the two of them. Yeah, what is also interesting is the, uh, the team is not in any way, shape, or form rested for this. And, and we practiced this morning. They practiced so, this morning. Yes. It would be interesting to see what kind of times that they can throw out there given those circumstances. It's, it's a good test to see how you can fight through those circumstances. Well, and how you can swim tired, which is a really important thing to be able to do. It looks like Victoria's got the cut. And so did Olivia Yaka from Peters. They both are under. 159, very nice swim given these circumstances. And we take a 1-3. Yep, 1-3. Event four of the evening. 
is the boys 200 yard freestyle for Peters Township. In lane two is Joe Dunleavy, and in lane five, Sebastian Yoka for your Upper St. Clair Panthers. In lane one, David Frauen. And in lane four, Finn Maynooth, Mr. Referee. Well, I'm real curious what the pool record is here because Finn has been has been under that record that time all, quite a bit so far in his career. As a matter of fact, in the black-white meet, he did a 140, which would, uh, uh, I think it was, which would have taken uh, taken down that record. But the, the uh, It's a 142.85. Well, let's keep an eye on his splits. So, yeah, it was set two years ago, so we'll see if he can take it down. Well, why don't you announce the, uh, the whip you'll cut for the fans? Sure. The whip you'll cut in this event is a, for the boys is a 155.00. Well, Finn just split a 23.41. He's taking it out hard. He is taking he's, it out he's hard. He's moving. And he looks good doing it. He doesn't look at all uh, at all taxed. No, he looks his stroke looks smooth. His you know he's his underwater's coming off the walls. Save his arms a little bit. See what's his hundred split going to be? Like a 20. 49, it looks like. Well, he. There's a nice race going on here between David um, and the two Peter swimmers, Joe and Sebastian, as well. well. Sebastian. The three of them are all right with each other. So. And uh, it, Sebastian is, uh, uh, if not the Peter's top swimmer, one of the top swimmers. I've known Sebastian from Upper or from uh, Valley Brook swimming for years, and a, yep. a very nice young man, very good swimmer. Right, and it's really it's shaping up. It's a really a tight race for second, third, and fourth. These guys are all right with each other with 150 left. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if Who Finn can bring, can bring home. this home. He, he uh, had a 26-2 in that last event, in that last 50, which was faster than his second split. Oh, that's going to be close. Yeah, what was that like record? It was what a 142, um, 85. Let's see what if you got that full record. I think he did. Oh, the anticipation is killer right Come on, now. Roll over, Ward. Maybe all the other splits rolled over and not his. Now that's interesting. We don't have a, an official time for the winner, the clear winner of the race. We might need a moment to, uh, to, to get a time. We do have the splits. Is there a time for Finn? Is there a time? Yeah, I got it. 142.19. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time for Finn Maynooth is 142.19. Another pool record. Pretty impressive. Way to start off the night. Okay. Event five, the girls 200 yard individual medley. In lane two for Peters Township, Kelly Bergman. And in lane five for Peters Township, Hannah Gregarig. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, Emily Yost. And in lane four, Lindsay Choate, Mr. Referee. Just gave a fist pump to Finn right there. He's been a a wonderful teammate of Ryan's and the boys, and and uh, a great swimmer, great addition. He and his brother came over from Germany last year, and I think that they've thoroughly enjoyed their experience. What a way to start off the night with two new pool records. Can't ask for much Under more Under these that. circumstances. And that's not going to be an event for him at Whitfields. Uh, he's probably going to be an IM or a 500er. Yeah, that's the nice thing. There's There's so much flexibility within our lineup. These kids can swim almost anything. Well, that's, and, and that's, he's got to be happy with that. Well, let's keep an eye on the two IMers right now. Okay, and let's look at what the uh, Whippeal qualifying time is in this event, too. The Whippeal qualifying time for the girls is a 222.20. And off the turn, we have the girls 1-2. Yep, they're looking good. And looking up at the score, I don't know how up-to-date that is or if it includes diving, but I, and I think that it just includes the swimming, and um, we're up uh, substantially. Boys and girls are both leading 14 to 4. And Emily and Lindsay are both having a nice race. 
it's going to be interesting to see if if either of these girls are going to be IMers at uh, at, at Whitfields. My guess not for for Lindsay. Well, Lindsay did swim it last year, um, but once again, she has a lot of options, um, as does Emily. Well, Lindsay has came on, okay, has come on this past year, uh, particularly last year. Not that yeah. she's not swimming well this year. We just don't know what the body of work is this year uh, compared to last year. Uh, but last year, she was you know, vital to the relays and to, um, to how the team swam at Whippeal. She swam really well. And so far, we are 1-2. Yep. And it looks like that's what they'll hold, too. Some nice swims by the girls. Well, I, I am going to venture to guess that it should be uh, the 222, 221 is not going to be a problem right here. For either of them to, call, to get their times. Yes. But you know what you want to do with, you want to get good times during the course of the season so you're seated well, so you're not seated in the earlier heats at Whippeals. Yes. You want to be able to, you want to be able to know what your competition is, the faster competition. So the faster you go now, the better. And having an inside lane is a nice thing. So Lindsay just went about a 213, she got it, and Emily did as went about a 216. So they both got their Whippeal qualifying times, as did Hannah Gregaric from Peters Township. Nice swim, girls. So one two for Upper St. Clair, and Peters taking third and fourth. Event six of the evening is the boys 200 yard individual medley for Peters Township in lane two. Harrison Nix, and in lane five, Mitchell Golius. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers in lane one, Chris D'Amico, and, and in lane four, senior Patrick Lersch, Mr. Referee. Now this is, a, a, again, an event. I'm not sure if this is going to be one of Patrick's events. Probably not. I, I think he's gonna be a 100, 200 guy this year. I just don't know. He's pretty nice 500 though as well. But I think Dave's giving them a chance to swim a lot of different events. Yes. Um, Patrick did do this event earlier in the season. I can't remember his time, but uh, he, he, he looked good doing it. He looks good now. That was at the Central Catholic meet. So far I should mention that the boys are one and one, losing to. No, we we've had three meets. Or, excuse me, uh, two and one. Two and one. We we lost to uh, North Allegheny. We we sadly defeated Central. And we defeated Char Valley. And Char Valley. Yep. Uh, the girls are three and zero. Oh. No. Oh, they lost to NA we as lost well. lost to North Allegheny as that well. Darn Although, NA. That, thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> Now Maybe Patrick, a little wishful thinking there. The backstroke has always been a nice, uh, nice stroke for Patrick. His but backstroke has come a long way, though. So he's, you know, and Chris looks good too. Chris is he's in a right battle. in there for second. He's in a battle with with uh, lane one. With Mitchell, or excuse Golius. me, lane five, uh, Mitchell Golius. So that's nice. He's he's swimming very well this year. He's a sophomore. Um, he's, he's having a nice race. What is the uh, what is the pool record in this event? The pool record in this event is a 155.05. I was here for that with uh, John Nappy. With John from Nappy, Lebanon. and yep. he is now swimming at Notre Dame. That's probably out of reach right now, but uh, that's a fast time. That's a fast time. Hey, it looks like Chris has pulled ahead Absolutely. here. Absolutely, very um, nice breaststroke leg. Yeah, nice swim. Very nice breaststroke leg. And you know, he does a lot of distance swimming, so I think he'll probably be able to hold his own now in the freestyle. So another one-two for the boys. Yeah, he's not going to get the pull record, but he's going to put up a nice time here. Yeah, a he's, very nice he's time. Go under two. That was a one fifty, about a one fifty-eight. That was a very nice swim. And that's not that far off the pool record. No, it's all really not. Considered. And it looks like we've got another one-two for Upper St. Clair as Chris D'Amico touches second. Just for comparative purposes, that 158.8 would put Patrick at number 15 in the, in the state so far. Wow. Event seven. The next event is event seven, the girls' 50-yard freestyle. In lane two for Peters Township, we have Michaela Queso. And in lane five, Julia Corton. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Megan Matheny, and in lane four, Carly Olsakowski, Mr. Referee. 
Well, this is always a fun event to watch. And don't blink your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> or you'll miss the entire thing. What is the whip cut here? The whip cut is a, uh, the whip, the whip cut. <laughs> Quiet for the start, please. Quiet for the start. The whip heel cut for this event is a 26. The whip heel cut for this event is a 26.10. Oh, I finally got it out. <laughs> I love watching Carly stroke. She's a she just She's, battles. Oh, it's so and it's so pretty. She just has the prettiest stroke. That's going to be a fast time for her. Yeah, she's swimming well. Absolutely, 24.71. Yeah, nice swim. Excellent swim by Carly. Okay, and Carly got, got a whippeel cut and put up a really fast time. Event eight of the evening is the boys' 50-yard freestyle. For Peters Township, in lane two is Stephen Hopta, and in lane five, Michael Kem. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one, Brandon Novak, and in lane four, Braden Wong, Mr. Referee. Now, do you think uh, Braden's going to go for the pool record here? I, I, I can guarantee he's trying for it, but if he's got a 20 point in him, God bless him. Well, he's been swimming well. He may yes, have absolutely. it. Absolutely. He may have it, and uh, it's a great goal to have. The whippy old cut in this event is a 23.50. Brayden, I know, has a 21 low, or 21 mid, I think, this year so far. I can't remember if that was in a, in a club meet or if that was. He is flying. Oh, he absolutely is. 21.66. That would place him fourth, fifth in the state so far. Not too shabby. Excellent swim this time. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the first half of the swim portion of the evening. The pool is now open for a brief warm up and warm down for the swimmers. Wow. <laughs> not, a, not, a, uh, not a pool record, but a 2166 <laughs> swimming this morning and, and ready to go in fifth in the state. We're going uh, to be back second half. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second half of tonight's swim dive meet between Peters Township and Upper St. Clair. The next event of the evening is event 11, the girls 100 yard butterfly. In lane two for Peters Township, we have Stephanie Wang. And in lane five, Lueva Palu Benson. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Maeve Lursch. And in lane four, Mia Barrel, Mr. Referee. The Whippeo qualifying time in this event is a 104.40. Welcome back to the second half, Kristen. Yep. Welcome back, Chet. Um, I think we have two girls here who are definitely trying to get their uh, Whippeo cut. And I think over in lane five, we actually it looks like all four girls are right up there. So this should be a good race. Yeah. You know, they may all get their cuts in this one. Well, a little, little uh, background. La Hueva in lane five is swimming for high school for our Peters Township, but she actually does swim for the Upper St. Clair Swim Club. Yes, she does. And that's, uh, not, that's not uncommon. We see that quite often with swimmers. We have several swimmers with Upper St. Clair High School that swim with uh, other swim clubs. But, uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to give a shout out to Lueva. Yep, and she's swimming. She's having a, a nice hundred. Lueva is a very, she's a strong flyer, a very nice swimmer. And she's easily going to come under. So she took first, Mia took second. Looks like Stephanie from Peters is in third. So we took a second and a fourth. And Peters took a first and a third. 
It was a nice swim, and uh, there are three whoop cuts. Event 12 of the evening. Event 12 is the boys' 100-yard butterfly. For Peters Township, in lane two is Justin Kim, and in lane five, Sebastian Sebas Yoka. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one, Ola Manuth, and in lane four, Ryan Dudzinski, Mr. Referee. Well, Ryan is the defending state champion in this event. He has not swum this event yet this year. He needs to get a legal time so he can qualify for Whitfields and States. <laughs> so he can swim in at Whitfields. <laughs> and the Whippeal, the Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 58.90. I don't think that will be any problem for Ryan to get. Well, with his underwaters, and uh, I, I think you might be right, he's, he's underwater still, half the pull in his second leg. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to watch swim underwater. He's definitely part fish. 22-34 uh, in the opening, and it does not look like he's really taxing himself all that much either. But then again, we now look at uh, down in lane one, we have... Uh, yeah, Ola. Ola. Yeah, and he's swimming nicely as well. Curious where the state times stand for the boys in the fly. Hey, nice swim. Looks like a 48, maybe. Well, the top time right now is by Michael Thomas with a 49.5, and oh. Ryan has the top time in the state right now. Wow. Nice swim. Is that a pool record? Uh, I will. Where's the 100 fly? There it is. Yes, ladies, is. And ladies and gentlemen, with that swim, Ryan just set a pool record. Way to go, Ryan. The next event is event 13, the girls' 100-yard freestyle. In lane two for Peters Township, we have Becky Mosher. And in lane five, Julia Corton. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Emily Yost. And in lane four, Abby Matheny. Mr. Referee. Matheny, Matheny, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, I might have met her once or twice. <laughs> Early in her life. Yes. Actually, she had a birthday yesterday and just turned 15. Oh, so, ha happy birthday to you. Yeah, 15 years ago yesterday. Fond memories, I assume. More or less. <laughs> now, this probably won't be an event for her at Whippeals. Is that right? Yeah, she tends to swim longer events, but she does like the shorter events. Um, and these events are important for all the kids, especially when it comes to relays. You've got to be able to swim the 50s and the 100s. The Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 57-1-0. Well, I remember one of my favorite swims this year so far was Abby's 200 up at NA. Uh, when she had to swim Morgan. Yeah, and her 500. She had two very nice swims up at NA. She was probably most happy with the five, is my guess. I think she uh, took out the 200 a little harder than she needed to. Well. She did turn the wall first here. And our top time thus far this season is Victoria Schaefer with a 52.98. Yeah, now I think she did it North Allegheny. That was a nice swim. I'm, Abby's not gonna, I don't think she's gonna do that here. Um, looks like she's gonna come in. And then Emily, one, two, nice swim, girls. Bows well for our relay. 54-29 would place her 23rd in the state in this event. An off event, that's not too shabby. The next event is event number 14, the boys' 100-yard freestyle. For Peters Township, in lane two is Benin Brewer, and in lane five, Josh Dunleavy. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one is a Matthew and Bohan. In lane four, Kevin Liu, Mr. Referee. Now Kevin is another one of those versatile swimmers. This will not be a, a Whippeal event for him. But right now, he's 
He's seated number one in the state in the backstroke. I saw that. He is one strong kid. The Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 51.90. He's very strong. He's, he's a racer. I mean, he does not like to lose. And then looking down at lane one, Amathion has uh, turned the wall first, or excuse me, second. Yeah, Amathion's hanging in there. Well, we got to watch that time. 51.9 is the cut that both men are looking for. I would imagine Mat Matheon is the one who might have uh, challenging that. In a, a, this, I don't know if this would be an event for him at Whippeals. Kevin looks like he has that cut, but let's watch a Matheon. He's going to be close. Yep, Kevin, 40. It looks like maybe a 48. Oh, a Matheon yeah. just over that cut. Just over that cut. It was a nice swim, though. He took, yeah, 52-7. The next event is event 15, the girls' 500-yard freestyle. In lane two for Peters Township, Abby Strennan. And in lane five, Olivia Yaka. In lane one, for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Kirsten Benedict. And in lane four, Olivia Schaefer, Mr. Referee. Well, this is the time of the night where we get to talk about swimmers, how they're doing this year, goals for the year, because the 500 is the longest event. It should take just over five minutes. Theoretically. It is, what, it is fun to watch, as we've done in the past in these broadcasts, the splits to see what the girls are doing. It is, and it, it's, definitely, it's definitely a race of strategy as well. Um, all the races are, but this one, you have a little bit of time to play it out. You know, whether you, as you mentioned earlier, Meg Haggerty, who swims it, tends to swim the back half hard. Sometimes kids swim the front half. You know, it's fun, it is fun to watch and see what they're going to do with it. Well, we are not in possession of any of the Peters Township times. Uh, there is a database in Pennsylvania, paswimming.com, that does have a top 50 time of swims. Not all teams report all swims, so we really don't know where they do stack up, which events are their favorites. Um, well, I know um, Olivia Yaka does swim this, and I believe she swam about a 528 so far this year. So, um, you know, that's a nice competition because I know Olivia Schaefer, who's right next to her for our club, or for our high school, is um, looking to qualify. She's just been off the qualifying time for Whippeals, which is, in this event, it's a 535.5. So she's certainly, she's close. Um, so may, tonight may be her night. Well, after the 100, she's uh, just over a minute. There so she's on pace. And we have Kirsten, looks like Kirsten and Abby Strennan have a good race going on in what lanes one and two as well. You want to stay under a 33. Um, and to hit 50. the time, you have to to hit the time. You know, every hundred you have, a, 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 you know, you have some seconds to play with. You don't have to be right on a minute, of course. That's a that's a very very fast pace. Yeah, uh, going under five would put you right now, I think, at the top of the state. Um, it is. We have you know a couple of good races going on here. Kirsten looks like she's out for a night to a nice start as well. The, now the uh, the pool record here is a 50405. That stood since 1993 with Merrill Holman, who was not only a high school All-American but a, a very very good uh, college swimmer. Um, Where'd she swim? I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember. Okay, I was just curious if you knew. My now, wife know would know. She My holds quite a quite a few of the records. Um, she obviously is one of the strong swimmers to come out of here in the past, one of many. Um, we're coming up to the halfway point now. For some reason, I, I want to say North Carolina, but I could be I could be wrong on that. My wife uh, has, in the past, compiled records and has gotten in touch with many of our old swimmers. And uh, I. I, I Linda would know off the top of her head, unfortunately. I have not gained that information through osmosis. So I'm, I'm talking to the wrong Dzinski? You are. <laughs> now, I'm looking at the split here of, of uh, the two leaders. And there? It, 
I'm very curious to see what this 50 is going to be. Well, they have another, they'll have another 200 left after this flip. Um, the reason I'm saying that is they, it, it, it looks like it looks like Olivia is uh, is is catching up just a little bit. I, I could be wrong on that, but it looks like her splits just picked up a little bit here. 33-8. Yeah. She's going to have to pick that pace up just a touch in order to catch that Whippeal cut. It looks like she is trying to kick it in here. Yeah, it does. It looks like she's picking up, and it looks like she's catching lane five. And Kirsten yeah, just she's split. closing that spot. And Kirsten just split three-tenths quicker than her competition in lanes well, she's oh, a nice. Two. She's a nice race. It's always nice in the 500 to have somebody right next to you like that to really sort of pull you along. Olivia, for a freshman, is a very strong swimmer. Absolutely. Yeah, I know she already has her cuts in the in the 200 free. So, uh, and she actually is in the top one of the top kids in the state in that event in the top 50. So let's see, they're well, finishing. This is, they'll have 100 left after this. That's right. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to catch the Peter, the yeah, Peters that's ask, Olivia. That's going to ask a lot. Yeah, that's a, but. but she's um, definitely on pace with a good good last 100 to catch that, that Whippy will cut at 535. Yes, she is. 34. It's going to be tight, it looks like, if she's she holding 33s. Yep, yeah, well, she just did a 34 there, and that she can't afford a 34 now. She's going to have to bring it home a little bit quicker than that in these last 250s. And that's a lot to ask when you practice in the morning and you're, and you're training hard. But look at this kick. She's definitely, uh, she's definitely giving it what she's got. Yeah, her strokes still look strong. I'm going to predict right now she's going to get that cut. She's just did a 33, and I, I predict a 33 low, 32 high. And she's going to she get it. She should get it. Yeah, 4.59. If she gets a 33, she'll get the cut. Kirsten is falling off her pace just a little bit. It looks like Peters took first in that. Look at Olivia digging to come home. I, she's going to get it. Good job, Olivia. Yep, she, oh, she got it by a lot. Nice swim. 32 low. What a nice last back hit uh, 50. Yeah, she she brought that home with all the training they're doing. At five, she got it by four seconds. Wow, four and that's, half seconds. that's an impressive swim, Olivia. That was a great swim. <laughs> Event number 16 is the boys' 500 yard freestyle. In lane two for Peters Township is Stephen Hopta, and in lane five, Kevin Martin. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one is Connor Levy, and in lane four, flying Finn Maynooth, Mr. Referee. <clears throat> well, it's going to be. Interesting to see what Finn can do. We, we missed him at the NA meet. You know, I mentioned that the boys did not win the, the NA meet. Finn Maynooth was deathly ill. His brother was sick as well. Um, we had a, a couple of other bad turns of events. Oh. And this is really uh, Finn's first healthy competition this year. And I will say, Stephen Hopta, who's next to him in lane five, is a, is a very, he's an outstanding distance swimmer. Um, he, you know, he's, he's I don't know if, how much of a run he'll get Finn for his money, but he is he's a very strong 500. Well, this will be an event for Finn at States, I predict. And wh what is the Whippeal cut? The Whippeal cut in this event is a 513.90. And I think Steven's going to do his best to, to hang with Finn. Um, and uh, you know, they both could get some, some pretty fast times if that happens. What is fun to watch is the way Finn swims this event versus so many other kids. Watch off for the next turn. Finn will start the turn a body length plus earlier than Steven. He well, will he, probably he, come off the wall or come up faster than Finn though. What, he's, he, they came up at the same time stroking. That's how strong Finn's walls are where he's not taxing his arms and plus you do swim faster underwater. 
Uh, yeah, his walls are, are, are very strong. But to give Stephen a little bit of credit, he's also about a foot shorter than Finn. So he, <laughs> Finn's going to flip a little further from the wall than he will. But he's, he looks, he is hanging in there. Yeah, it takes a lot of breath control to be able to come up that far from out of the flags and not come up breathing. And I might add in a 500. In a 500, that's, it's impressive. Especially if you can maintain those, uh, those splits in the back half when the lactic acid starts to kick in. Oh yeah, it becomes very painful. Well, let's, let's watch the splits here. A 38-3 for Finn, a, or 28-3 versus 28-9. And we have a, a battle here going on in lanes one and two. Yep, between Connor, Connor and, and um, Kevin. And Connor's got the best of him. Yeah, it's a good race. We just saw Finn kick this up a little bit. I think we're going to see a 28 low here. Yep, 28-4. Yep. I have a feeling he's got a goal oh, in mind. It looks like he's he's going to lose Steven here. Steven may have tried to exert himself a little much to try to hang with him in that first half. Looking at the top times in the state in this event, uh, Eben Krieger swam it against us, actually, which was a, yes. a 439. It would have been a nice event to see him, swim uh, against Eben, Finn. swim against Finn. Yeah. To another 28 low by, by Finn, and he just lapped uh, lapped the first Peter swimmers, and probably is going to do the same to Connor. Very strong swim. Like I said, Finn oh. swimming healthy for the first time. And he's swimming year. effortlessly too. I mean, he looks like he's exerting very little effort, and he's you know, he's very efficient. He did take it up to a 28.7 right there. This is where that lactic acid may just be kicking in a slight amount. And after this, uh, after this next 25, he's going to have 100 left. What's the, what's the pool record in this? Well, the pool record is a, uh, a 439.76. That's okay. going to be tough. That, that, was a, that was a swim by John Nappy, uh, who's, again, we mentioned his name earlier, who swims at uh, Notre Dame. He's got a shot, but he's going to have to go real low here. And he actually, when he swam that, was being coached by our current head coach. That's right, Dave Straven. Um, but it, Finn holds our team record, um, which is slightly under the pool record, 439.51. So... He's got another 50 left. That's... He's going to go about a 40. He's going to be close. That's, he's got to kick it in here, but he's, I'm not going to say no. Meanwhile, it does look like Connor's fallen off pace just a little bit. Oh, but he still has a good race going. Oh, it's going to be close. I think he's got it. I think he did it too. Well, let's keep an eye on that. 439.76. He's oh, got he it. What a swim. Pull record. And I believe that's his best time because he held the his best time last year was a 439. It's a team record as well. Ladies and gentlemen, with that swim, Finn Maynooth just set both a team and pool record. Wow, what a swim. And I might add that that will be the fastest swim in the state so far this year. Way to go, Finn. Can I say it? The boys and girls are on fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is always a fun event. Another relay. Yep, this is the, this is the fast one. The next event is event 17, the girls' 200-yard freestyle relay. Swimming in lane two for Peters Township, Sydney Wen. Diana Mizakar, Tracy Chen, and Kayla McClintock. In lane five for Peters Township, we have Kelly Bergman, Michaela Queso, Becky Mosier, and Abby Strennan. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Hannah Wilding, Megan Williams, Karina Liu, and Kirsten Benedict. And in lane four, 
for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Abby Matheny, Carolyn Novak, Maeve Lersch, and Victoria Schaefer. Mr. Referee. Well, this relay for the girls. The uh, Whippeo cut in this event is a 149.40. Well, in this event, you were going to say probably that they earlier this year tied a team record. Yes, this group of girls tied the team record, so I think that they're trying to see if they can break it this time. Meanwhile, lane one is our other relay, and they're in second. Yeah. Looks like Abby just gave way to Carolyn. And in lane one, Hannah just gave way Megan to Megan. Megan yep. Maeve Lursch is going to be coming in the water next for us in lane four. Yep, and Karina Liu in lane one. Very nice exchange right there in lane four, too. Very nice timing on that. Okay, our girls are looking good. I think we're one, two at the moment. Although it's a good race shaping up between one and five. Between us and Peters over in five. Okay, now the final exchange is between Maeve and Victoria. A couple of 25 splits in the middle there. Let's see what Victoria can bring it home in. Just going to be above the pool record, unfortunately. Very nice swim, though, girls. Okay, and a nice one-two yep. fire Very nice. relays. That shows some pretty darn good depth, doesn't it? It sure does. Event number 18 of the evening is the boys' 200-yard freestyle relay for Peters Township in lane two. Finn Wilkinson, Mark Mizikar, Andrew Mikulowski, Wen Zhang. In lane five, Caleb Miller, Nathan Wang, Duncan McCall, and Omar Marabi. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one, Kevin Liu, Maris Rosu, Jacob Jamie, and Connor Burns. And in lane four, Ryan Dudzinski, Braden Wong, Patrick Lersch, and Finn Manuth, Mr. Referee. Wow, lane four is a fast relay. They're off. They're definitely going for that pool record. How can you tell? <laughs> what is that? What is that whip you'll cut? The whip you'll cut in this event is a 138.50. The one thing I did notice is Patrick actually let off the relay, and Ryan is going to be diving first. I think I had uh, announced uh, Ryan first. 21-7 for Patrick. What a nice, nice split. Swim. That's a, that's, that would be one of the top times in the state, which he already has a top 10 time in the state in this event, an event that he will not be swimming <laughs> probably at states. Once again, it shows, as you mentioned, the depth of our team. That's a nice a 20.03. Ryan wanted to go under 19, and he, oh, he, uh, he, not. he's mad he didn't get his 19. Well, 20.0 is not a shabby. No, split. it's no. He has he been under 19? No, 20.02 is as slow as his fastest, fastest at uh, Christmas meet. So he's sort of that's you know it's always hard to break those barriers. Well, swimming yeah. this morning, having a couple events already today. Makes it. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile. Uh, what's happening with the the other uh, Peters Township looks like they have second and third but let's see what we have for what a, is the pool record in this that they were trying to break 130 oh, that's girls oh. where'd the boys go there they are 125.9 they broke it that's a pool record it's a pool record ladies and gentlemen with that swim 
Lane four just set another pool record. Wow, they're just falling. Falling. Once we falling, get that new record falling. put up, it's going to be all Might names as well. from the current club. Going to have to. Current team. Yeah. The next event is event 19, the girls 100 yard backstroke. In lane two for Peters Township, Alex Dom. And in lane five, Jessica Vierheller. In lane one for the Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Mariah Kelly. And in lane four, Lindsay Choate, Mr. Referee. Now we got the backstroke, which is uh, it's a kind of a tradition in Upper St. Clair. Oh, absolutely. We're known as the backstroke factory. Um, let me just announce the Whippeal Cut in this event. The Whippeal Cut in this event is a 105.50. And it looks like Lindsay's having a nice swim, as is Mariah. They're in one and two. Um, I think Mariah already has her cut in this event. Got that against Oakland Catholic, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think you're correct, and I think Lindsay may have hers as well. Well, Lindsay's got a 58 uh, mid or 58 high, I believe. 58.9, yeah, 58 if I'm high. not mistaken. That's, that's what she went last year. Yeah, and, um, and doing that, Beals. doing that mid-season at this point of the year, that's um, well, she's that's moving. strong. I mean, they both look good. Yeah, they're both going to get another. Yeah, Mariah should also close within. Oh, will be a cut. Yeah, she got it well, 103 yep. high, I believe. What did I say? Excuse me, it's a 105.5. Yep, I think they both got it. 103.8. Nice, nice swim, ladies. Great swim. 1-2 for the girls. Awesome. As we said, we're the factory. <laughs> hey, it works. Event number 20 is the boys' 100-yard backstroke for Peters Township. In lane two, Harrison Nix. In lane five, Michael Kem. For your upper St. Clair Panthers, in lane one, Ola Manuth. In lane four, Marty Basic, Mr. Referee. Marty had a breakout swim in the, in the backstroke last Whippeals. Yes. And he's just uh -huh. gotten nothing but faster this year. His, was... his underwaters have really improved. Not that they were bad last year, but he's done a really nice job at underwaters this year. He, he could have some competition in this race for Michael Kem. Michael Kem is a nice, I know he swims fly. Well, so far, Marty's got something but, to say about yeah. that. Yeah, looks like. Did you see, did you see that opening wow. underwater? Look at that turn. Okay, He's, yeah, he, his Marty flip is, is just flying. He, he doesn't want competition from anybody tonight. But as you said, this is we have a lot of swimmers who can swim backstroke, and this is a very competitive event on our team to swim well, at Whippy. Yeah, you better get a good you better get a good backstroke time to make our backstroke squad. Absolutely, you have got to have a very fast time to swim backstroke at Whippy from this and, team. And Marty is Marty's right there. Yeah. Marty's proven our point right now. Well, Kevin is number one in the state right now. Marty's already done a 55-21. I think he's gonna he's gonna better that time by at least a little bit here with a good finish. The qualifying time for Whippeals in this event is a 101.00. Uh, he might be just a little bit above that time, but yeah, he just but a 55.8 wow. with this. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a that's a good time. Yeah. The next event is event 21, the girls 100 yard breaststroke. In lane two for Peters Township, Tracy Chen. And in lane five, Lueva Palu Benson. In lane one for your Upper St. Clair Panthers, we have Riley Stevenson. And in lane four, Maddie Yost, Mr. Referee. Well, Maddie is our, it, it, Maddie is our, uh, 
um, uh, probably our best breaststroker. Yes. Um, yeah. She well, she went to states in it last year. She, I think she took fourth or fifth at Whippeals. But once again, Lueva is also a very strong breaststroker oh, from Peters. They train together, and um, they, they know how each other swims. So it should Absolutely. be a good race. They're, they're very good friends as well outside the pool. Maddie's best time in this, this far, thus far this year is at 105.91. Okay, just do the Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 113.70. Looks like Maddie is, is out Jeez. with a fast 50. Wow, she split a 30 point. 30.8, nice swim. One of the bad things about uh, is sitting where we are is we really can't see lanes one and two very well. No, sometimes we, sometimes we don't talk about lanes one and two as much as we should, but we just can't see them. But I know that Riley has a uh, she has a whip you'll cut in this event, if I'm not I mistaken. I believe she does as well. Yep, she's a nice breaststroker. Um, she's a freshman on the team this year and a terrific addition. Nice swim by Maddie. She went on maybe a 105, 106-1. Nice swim. And Riley takes third for us. Yep, and did Wait. Riley get the cut there? Um, just off. But again, I'm... I'm it was a 113.7. And she already posted a 111.47 uh, this year, okay, so she does then. have that cut. So she's good. Okay. We're ready for some, watch some boys breaststroke now. There we, we go. Have Jake and David. Event number 22 is the boys 100-yard breaststroke. For Peters Township, in lane two is Kevin Martin. And in lane five is John Martin. For your upper St. Clair Panthers in lane one, David Frauen. In lane four, Jake Johnson, Mr. Referee. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Peters boys are twins. I was, I was wondering that, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> same, Martin is a relatively name. common last name, same though. Same name, same size, same age. Yeah, uh, same, I, same, yeah. same build. I'm with you. They, they look like definitely they could be related. Now, I don't know what Jake's second event is going to be, but right now, I, I do know that he's one of the top flyers in the state. Um, he is a, uh, um, he could do any number of different things, but I just don't know what his other event's gonna be. I'll announce it. The whippy old time in this event is a 107.00. Well, we're, we're always looking for breaststrokers, and this is a... You know, they seem to be a rare breed. It seems to be one of those strokes that you're either born doing or you're not. My family, not. <laughs> My family, two out of three, definitely not. Josh um, is the stroke, the breaststroker, right? Yeah, Josh is my breaststroker. That well, looks like Jake... It's a nice time. Yeah, he's doing That's nice a nice time. A 104 or high is a... Did David get it as well? Well, we'll wait for the clock to tick. We got one and three there. 104, oh, oh just, just off that off. cut. Just off that cut. And we have another fun event. Yep, girls, another relay. Yeah, we love the relays, don't we? We do, why they're fun. You, why don't you announce the girls? The next event is event 23, the girls 400 yard freestyle relay. In lane two for Peters Township, we have Stephanie Wang, Kelly Bergman, Kayla McClintock, and Diana Misakar. In lane five for Peters Township, we have Olivia Yaka, Becky Mosher, Hannah Gregarig, and Julia Corton. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers in lane one, we have Meg Haggerty, Karina Liu, Carolyn Novak, and Olivia Schaefer. In lane four, we have Abby Matheny, Victoria Schaefer, Mia Barrel, and Carly Olsakowski. Mr. Referee. some two pretty fast relays in here. Um, well, you know what Dave likes to do sometimes and see how evenly matched he can put our relays. Yeah, I think he has fun with that. 
And I don't know if this is one of those times or not, but he, you could tell with, with uh, some of the events that he's done at times where that's exactly the case. Not sure if that's it here, but we'll find out how, yep. how the girls we'll can see do. see how they, how they end up. The Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 402.40. Lane four, Upper St. Clair is leading. And that is Abby. Again, you, you, have, a, you have a relationship with her. Yeah, she's my daughter. <laughs> I'll claim her. She's giving way to Victoria Schaefer here. Yep. Nice exchange. Uh, 53 high, 54 low. That's a nice leadoff leg. 54 flat. Very nice lead off. And looking at the uh, the pool record for the girls, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not something that is in the cards tonight. Um, the I think it's a 4.38 or 3.38. Yep, 3.38.06. That's going to be tight. Yeah, that's... I'd now, that's... Um, End of a long meet and um, training this morning. Yeah, I, I don't think that that was a goal tonight. But no. certainly you want to have good exchanges. You want to learn something about your swimmers, how they can fight through a little bit of a fatigue. And we have Mia going now third. There is a battle going on in lanes one and two between St. Clair and Peters B. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good race. Right now in the water, we, as you said. Mia, Mia Barrels over there in lane four. And who do we have? We have Carolyn Novak in uh, lane one. Carolyn is uh, putting the pedal to the metal and she's... Yeah, she's doing her best to catch lane five. And then we're going to have Olivia Schaefer in lane one. In lane five is going to be Carly. And fans, if you want to watch somebody with a strong kick, watch Carly on this next leg. <laughs> Mia better get out of the water. Yeah, she's going to get <laughs> run over by Carly. So it's just, it looks like lane one's caught five. Carolyn did a good job. She caught up with um, the Peters team. And uh, so now who's our anchor? That's Olivia, Olivia, Olivia yep. Schaefer. And Olivia just got her Whippeo catch. She's swimming well today, so we'll see. She, you know, she's gonna give, this is a good oh, race. She is, yes, it's a very good race. This is a. Look at her kick it in. Yeah, she is moving. Look at those splits, a 28, first, she's made up over a second on that Peters swimmer. She does that again. We take one, two. Yeah, I think we, you know, I think we can, we will. That is going to be an impressive swim. Here comes we have Carly, Carly in coming in. Nice swim on Carly's part. Split a 28. Comparatively, let's see what Olivia splits in her last 50 here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be coming down uh, on the wall. I wonder if she can see the girl over there. I bet wow, she did. Nice swim, Olivia. Nice splits, nice swim. Way to go, girls. Absolutely. Now, let's see what we have going on for the Upper St. Clair 400-yard freestyler boys. Your last event of the evening is event number 24, the boys 400-yard freestyle relay. For Peters, in lane two, Stephen Hopta. Sebastian Yoka, Josh Denlivy, Alex McKay. In lane five, Michael Kem, Joe Dunlevy, Mitch Golius, and Justin Kem. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers. In lane one, Ben Diffendahl. I have, ladies and gentlemen, my, my sheet is off. And the corrected list of Upper St. Clair swimmers. In lane one, Ben Diffendahl, Chris D'Amico, Dave Frowen, and Connor, Connor Levy. For your Upper St. Clair Panthers, 
In lane four, Braden Wong, Ryan Dudzinski, Patrick Lersch, Finn Maynooth, Mr. Referee. That was a little curveball thrown at me, both <laughs> lanes and in order. That was a test to see how well you recognize the swimmers with their caps on. Well, I did not do a very good job. <laughs> Let's watch Braden's start here. Again, very nice streamline, very quick start. Well, and the Whippeal qualifying time in this event is a 339.10. Braden is, Braden's moving. Although it's relatively, you know, Stephen Hopp is not far behind him. I wonder if Ryan's going to put his goggles down. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want him to dive in and forget to do that. Now the full record in this is a 311.35. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is something that they would love to do. A 48.5. Would have liked to have seen that a little bit lower probably. Long meet. But let's see how Ryan can... Maybe close that gap on that 311. And the Peters. Uh, the Peters are yeah, in second Peters and third right now. Yeah, Peters are second right and now. third on us. I don't think, unless we DQ, that uh, first place is much in doubt here. Pat I would agree with that. Ryan's bringing in to do the exchange with Patrick. These, nice start. Uh, I was just going to say that, that these are very nice starts that the boys have been having. They're uh, very crisp, very very good timing. They're getting their, their relay starts down pretty well. Yep. And now we have David coming in the water for us over in lane one. So let's we'll see if he can catch those Peters guys. Okay, we have one more exchange. Well, the number we're looking at for that pull record is 311.35. Okay, we have Finn coming up. Okay. Nice split by uh, Patrick on that back half there. Yes. So Finn's going to It's going to be go. close. It's going to be very close. He's going to have to have just a, an outstanding swim here. Well, he didn't miss 500, so maybe he can do it here as well. Hey, that was a nice job. It looks like we're going to take first and fourth, and Peters is going to take second and third in this one. Boy, Finn's giving it all he has. I don't he know has, if he can well, catch it or be not. Close, maybe. I think yeah, he's got I it. Think he did I it. think they did I it. I think we went a 10. Wow. Nice what a swim, swim, Finn. Yeah, 310, 72. Wow. It's another pool record. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's getting redundant, but in lane four, with that 310, 78, Upper St. Clair just set another. Pool record! Okay, so how many was that tonight? I lost count. Oh my gosh, I think it was almost every event. Well. Well, that, that concludes our meet for this evening. We have uh, uh, the, the scores don't really reflect the, the final. But, uh, excuse me, well, I, I think that's not a pull record. No, I, I, I was just pointed out to me that that's not a pull record. But I'm not going to bother announcing that to the crowd. Um, yeah, it was a 309. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this evening. And uh, stay tuned for the next meet, which is senior night, January 20th. It is against Carrick High School. All so right. I'll see you then, Chet. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. <laughs>